Chopstain's log. Today it's September 19, year 2008. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, today about a clutch failure problem. Okay, let me show you something about the clutch failure. My predator just crashed due to the clutch failure. Okay. Okay, let me talk, tell, talk about uh, the clutch. Okay, so this is a clutch. Uh, the clutch lining has a uh, worn out due to the hot start because one of uh, one of the flight I accidentally reversed the reverse the throttle setting when I switched the receiver from a uh, Futaba to to Spectrum due to the laziness I too lazy to open up the carburetor and look at the the butterfly okay so uh, once I started up the engine goes to a full speed for about five seconds then I immediately immediately I uh, shut down uh, using the my hand shut down the servo so um, I didn't notice that there's no more clutch so I just realized after uh, maybe a, after another week I make a, a flight I know I didn't know that there's no more clutch so let me show you the clutch okay there see no more clutch lining okay and this is the clutch you will notice that the clutch is fully open can you see it this one fully open okay okay uh how's the how's the clutch system work okay clutch uh, system work normally on a on a friction and a force okay so let's uh let's assume uh let's talk let's talk about i want to know the difference between a, a fully perfect clutch and a clutch system without a clutch lining so let's compare what's the what's the big difference okay let's talk about the fully uh, perfect clutch system okay let's assume there's a clutch lining here okay normally clutch operate through a friction okay this is a there once the clutch are uh, revolved at very high speed the tendency of this uh, weight will open up okay due to the centrifugal force okay in a perfect in a perfect uh, clutch system there's a lining okay so the clutch operate there's a there are many factor uh, the clutch uh, many factor that op that uh, cause the clutch to work okay first clutch work on the friction due to the two surface two surface okay this is a friction and this is the force the higher the force the stronger the friction force okay and one more thing is the the area the surface area of the friction the bigger the surface area the more friction okay and one more thing is the is the uh, material depend on the surface of the clutch lining and also depend depend could be a metal to metal has a different frictional force okay metal to metal metal to clutch lining or metal to rubber with different kind of metal just give you a different um, force of friction okay so there are three area one is the force centri uh, the pressure the other one is the area and the other one is the the, the material the uh, the surface okay in a perfect uh, perfect uh, clutch system okay okay they... Let, uh, okay so a perfect uh, clutch system this clutch uh, rotate at very high speed so the centrifugal due to the centrifugal force of the clutch shoe plus clutch shoe will open up wide okay and exert a force on the clutch lining okay now how much the area how big is the area uh, Theoretically, let's talk about the area. If this is a perfect circle, assuming this is a perfect circle, it's made of glass, and also, let's assume 
This glass lining is also a perfect circle. It's also made of glass. So there's no cushion effect. What is the what is the area, the contact area between the glass shoes and the glass lining assuming on the perfect um, perfect scenario, okay? The perfect scenario will be the, the area will be just a dot, a single dot. Because when you plot, plot the circle on a on a dropping paper, there will be only a single point. Single point of contact. That will be the area. And that single point contact, due to the thickness of the clutch, it will become a single line. Okay? So in an ideal condition, the area is just a single line. A single line here. So it's just a single line. Now what's what's make it uh what's make it uh produce a certain area okay the surface it is due to the the softness of the clutch lining okay it is the softness of the clutch lining that produces a, a certain area okay without the clutch lining so there's no area the area is only a single line about about a 10 mm thick this is a 10 mm thickness okay just a single line okay okay just so that's a that's the ideal condition for a for a perfect work class okay i'm going to compare later between the different uh, parameter force area the surface area and the the material Okay. Let's let's a uh, comparison between a perfect clutch system and a uh, totally worn out worn out clutch system. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Oh, okay. So let's assume this is a perfect clutch system. Let's, for our support of discussion, let's assume that the centrifugal force is about 100%, okay? One could be a 100% or I can say a 100 pounds, so for easy computation. The force exerts a 100 pound on the center of the clutch, okay? There, that, that's the center of the clutch. This is the center of the clutch, okay? Now let's assume the clutch is fully worn out. There's no clutch lining. Okay, so what will be the force on this area? Okay. The if you take note, let's compete for the force of this area at, the, at this near the edge of the clutch system. Okay, this is the edge, the two edge. Let's call this, uh, this is a point A point A, point B, and point C, okay? Okay, if the, 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 the pressure on the point B is 100 pound, what will be the force, the pressure on the point C, okay? I would say it's, all, it's, it, it's half, you know why? Because uh, it's a very uh, sy symmetrical. Let's consider this. Is, uh, let's consider only the half, the half moon clutch shoe. Okay. This is point A, point B, and point C. I guess it's easier if 